A new study is showing an unexpected and weirdly specific side effect from the Cold War. Increased rain on the Shetland Islands. Turns out radioactivity may be linked to precipitation. This is how researchers made the connection. According to a study published in Physical Review Letters, the electric charge from radioactivity caused by atomic testing during the Cold War caused a rise in precipitation on Shetland, Scotland. During the Cold War, radioactive pollution from American and Soviet Union atomic testing sites in the 1960s spread across the atmosphere. Specialists from the Reading, Bath and Bristol universities participating in the study used information from bomb tests and records from the United Kingdom's National Weather Service to determine the long-term effects of bomb radioactivity. According to data gathered from a research station in Scotland, experts found that on days when radioactivity was increased, clouds were heavier and rain increased by 24 percent. According to The Guardian, radioactivity releases electric charge by ionizing air. Experts believe that this has an effect on the formation of water droplets in clouds and precipitation. However, The Guardian points out that this is difficult to observe in the atmosphere. So how is this information useful? Well, The Guardian reports that understanding how electric charges affect rainfall contributes to cloud geoengineering research, which could be used to ameliorate droughts. One country that's still stuck in the 60s is, you guessed it, North Korea. Yep, it's still making bombs. North Korea has continued development of its nuclear and missile programs, according to a confidential United Nations report seen by Reuters. According to the report, the country conducted 13 missile tests last year and launched roughly 25 missiles. This included new short-range and submarine-launched ballistic missiles. It mentioned that North Korea has continued to develop infrastructure and capacity to enhance its missile program. The UN report says that the country also exported tons of commodities such as coal using Chinese barges, even though North Korea has been banned from doing so since 2017. DPRK-flagged vessels would transfer over the commodities to local Chinese barges, a method known as ship-to-ship -ship transfer, which would then deliver the goods to ports in Hangzhou Bay and the Yangtze River in China. In a statement, China called the accusations baseless and said that it is implementing UN sanctions against North Korea. According to the report, North Korea also continued to illegally import refined petroleum using the same method. Reuters reports that the country has been allowed to import 500,000 barrels of refined petroleum under current sanctions, but the report found that North Korea exceeded the limit many times over between January 1st and October 31st of last year. According to Reuters, North Korea's allies, Russia and China, have both raised concerns saying that the UN sanctions are causing harm to civilians in North Korea. The United States, France and Great Britain have all said that sanctions should not be lifted. Reuters reports that North Korea has been sanctioned by the United Nations since 2006. Members of the UN Security Council have imposed harsher sanctions against the Hermit Kingdom over the years to deprive the country of funding for its nuclear and ballistic missile programs. Speaking of North Korea, what happened to and where is its spherical leader? Whispers have emerged that North Korea's supreme leader, Kim Jong-un, is gravely ill after undergoing heart surgery. The 36-year-old leader's condition is supposedly being monitored by US intelligence officials, who were told that Kim was in grave danger after the cardiovascular operation, CNN claim, citing a US official with direct knowledge of the matter. Quoting South Korean news website The Daily NK, Bloomberg reports that the infamous leader was mostly recovered from the procedure. The website obtained the story from a single anonymous informant based in North Korea and has been unable to obtain further details on Kim's condition. Bruce Kleiner, a former CIA deputy division chief for North Korea, told CNN that previous rumors about Kim being in poor health had turned out to be not true, and the country's extreme secrecy made it difficult to establish facts, saying, There have been a number of recent rumors about Kim's health. If Kim is hospitalized, it would explain why he wasn't present on the important April 15th celebrations. Unsurprisingly, North Korea's highly secretive government has yet to comment on Kim's alleged illness or issue any sort of statement through its state-controlled mouthpieces. Kim, who is known to be a chain smoker, has been shown in state media in recent months, appearing at military drills and riding a white horse in a power move display of propaganda. The poverty-stricken nation has reported impossibly no cases of COVID-19, saying not a single person in the country has been infected. Kim's absence from the public eye may just be precautionary, or he may just be on his way out.
Stay tuned to see if this story unfolds. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.